Good morning, Quadcopter 101. And what I got for you today is a very interesting little drone. This is the DIY drone, or do-it-yourself drone. If you look at it, you'll see, yeah, that's a little micro quadcopter with an all-in-one camera. So yes, this is a little tiny whoop competitor. But what's special about this? This thing's only like $42, folks. Ready to go, all ready to fly. Actually, not ready to go, I'm sorry, but it comes with its own transmitter and it comes with the all-in-one camera. What you need to do is, if you can go by that name DIY, it means do-it-yourself drone. Um, what you get, in effect, is this drone in parts, completely disassembled. Uh, you have to assemble it yourself, but it's not that very hard. Um, everything on this is snapped into place or plugged into place. There is no soldering required in the assembly of this. It took me about an hour to put it together. Um, most of that time was spent trying to decipher the uh, instructions, which were very poor, and very tiny print. I actually had to use a magnifying glass to, uh, to uh, read the instructions properly. But after putting it together, it is rather simple. And what I did was, during that assembly, I took a photo of each and every step to document it. And what I'm going to do, folks, at the end of this video is include those steps on how to assemble this to show you how to make it simple for you. So, in effect, what you get, again, is this little drone that you have to assemble. Now, it looks like it's carbon fiber, but it's not. It's all plastic. It's arms. But I don't think that's really going to matter because uh, this is mainly intended for indoor flying. Um, its flight control board on this is just a standard toy grade uh, controller. In other words, you can't configure it. There's no way to configure that flight control board. It's a toy grade controller that flies with a toy grade transmitter. You get this toy grade transmitter. It says SPY, so this is probably the same flight control board and same transmitter that comes with the DM007 uh, toy grade quadcopter. And with that in mind, the controls you get is you can uh, change the rates on the quadcopter by pressing this button here, and you can turn the LED lights off. There is not much in terms of LED lights on this quadcopter, so that's not applicable. You can do flips with it by pressing this button here, telling which direction to flip. It does have headless mode, which you activate by pressing into the pitch roll stick, and it does have one key return, which you activate by holding down the uh, right stick here, or the right uh, upper right shoulder button. So that's it in effect, folks. Let's go into the flight, into a flight of the little do-it-yourself drone. I'm going to fly it around the trees here, fly it down low, and see how it performs in uh, FPV uh, flight. So I hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, like all toy quadcopters, we got to bind it. I already plugged in the quadcopter. We got to bind it with an up-down motion on the transmitter. And we are bound and ready to go. So I hope you enjoy this flight of the do-it-yourself drone. Here we go. It's a little gentle little quadcopter. Now it's throttle. <laughs> it's not very sensitive, folks. Let me... Actually, the controls, all the controls are not very sensitive, being that it's a toy drone. Let's see if I can fly it around the trees. <laughs> it's slow in proportionality. Ouch! Hold on, folks. My wife's going to re rewrite it for me. And also with the okay, this time I'm going to go to a higher rate, too. It's got intermediate and expert. Let's try intermediate and see how that works. Here we go again. I got a little bit of a breeze here today, folks, and that's why I got to go. Let's try expert, too. Ugh. Well, yeah, this controller <laughs> is much to be desired. I, I was just flying using my... Um, let's go up and over. I was just flying using my uh, Devo controller, and <laughs> you can really notice the difference. I should have started off with this one, probably. But, yeah, it's it's very not very sensitive. <laughs> but then again, it's a toy controller, and you can fly it outdoors, as I'm doing here. FPV. But keep in mind that it's not very proportional. I'm going to hit it again. <laughs> It's not pro very proportional at all. Its uh, controller is much to be desired. It is a toy grade controller after all. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It, and it overcorrects real easily. Well, with that in mind, we're going to make slow turns and I'm going to go up a little bit higher here. <laughs> Let's see if I can go around the pole. Let's see what the range on this is. Can I go around that pole? Yeah, I can. Okay, let's see if I can go between those trees there without hitting something. 
No, I just missed something. <laughs> but yeah, you can fly it. It's just, uh, you can't fly it very smooth, folks. It is a toy grade controller. But if I wish something else could bind to this besides this toy controller. It would make it an excellent quadcopter with a better controller. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> My wife's going to get it again for me. Okay, this time we're going to stay in close and try out the flips and rolls with this. Flipping it. I guess i got to hold the button down. Uh, don't tell me I used up all the battery juice already to do flips. Sorry, folks. No, there we go. I got a flip out of it. No, I did not. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but there's not enough juice to continue. So we're getting low on battery power already. Uh -huh. So we're gonna find out what the what its flight time is. Let's come in close to us without hitting us. <laughs> yeah, this controller is much to be desired. But there it is. I like to try to get I'm trying to get myself in the picture. I'm going overhead. And going over here. I keep trying to do a flip, but I don't want to do it. <laughs> it's battery is too weak right now. And also, you know, that battery is be draining, uh, being drained by the FPV system. So that probably <laughs> reduces its power to be able to do flips. But we're just going to see how fast we can get it to go. Oh, <laughs> it can go fast. Let's try it this way. Without hitting the ground. <laughs> And there we go, folks. That's its flight time. So, that's a do-it-yourself drone. Um, you can fly it around indoors. Here, I'll take that. Oh, thanks. You can fly it around indoors. I've done it, but you got to go really slow because the controller, like I said, is not very proportional with it. But it does fly, and it is cheap. For $42, you can get yourself an actual all-in-one uh, tiny whoop simulator <laughs> so hope you enjoyed this flight this is quadcopter 101 and again this is the do-it-yourself drone signing out